welcome to the Wilson Show. I am Wilson. This is my show. I know it's been a while, but we are back. I am here today to do an update on where I've been recently with movies and shows. Like I said, it's been a while. Feels good to be back. But recently, I've checked out a ton of movies and a ton of shows. Um, I'm going to give you a couple that I watched that were good, that were bad. I got my list right in front of me. And we're going to just start. Let's go through the list. Um, If you haven't checked out C on Apple TV, and I know a lot of people don't have Apple TV, um, it's not the little box. Apple TV has a streaming platform. It's called Apple TV Plus. I should say that. Um, You can watch it on your Roku TV like I have here. You can watch it on your Amazon Fire Stick, I believe. You can actually watch it on your Apple TV device. Um, Yeah, it comes on your app. It comes with Apple Music, I believe. Um, I ended up getting it when I got my iPhone. They gave it to me for free. Um, So if you want to try it and try it out, they have really good shows. Um, I was watching the Emmys yesterday, and Ted Lasso won. Excuse me, that was disgusting. (laughs) We live, so look, you're going to get all that. Um, I was watching the Emmys yesterday, and Ted Lasso won every fucking award. It was just like a Ted Lasso show. Like, if it was any award, Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso. So I'm guessing Ted Lasso was a good show. I'll watch it on my own time. The critics be a little sus. So I don't know if it's a good show, but obviously it's a great show according to the critics because it won every fucking award. Excuse my language. Um, but yeah, Apple TV has a good... Um, they have a plethora of good shows from what I've seen uh, critic-wise and review-wise. So just check it out. But like I said, um, check out C. It's on season two. Um, Jason Momoa absolutely kills his role as Baba Voss in the show. Um, Batista, if you watch wrestling, Batista's on season two. I'm not going to spoil too much and tell you who he is, but just know Jason Momoa's Baba Voss character absolutely kicks ass throughout the whole season one. And season two, I think I'm up to episode three. So, um... It's an amazing show, and I feel like a lot of people in the general population, um, of my general population, they don't watch C. But definitely check out C. It's on season two, like I said. Um, I'm three to four episodes in, and it's absolutely amazing. The cinematography is amazing. Um, the character development, the scenery is absolutely amazing. So check out C. That's one of the shows that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, coming in at number two, I know you guys all seen the shit. I'm not going to get too deep into it, pause, but um, clickbait, like, clickbait was good. I might have, I might need a whole segment for clickbait, but clickbait was good <laughs> up until the fucking end. And if you've seen clickbait, which I'm sure you guys are, and this is, a, I'm going to give a little spoiler, so if you didn't see clickbait, just fast forward this part right now. Um, but clickbait was good. Like, I was rocking with clickbait. Um, I was enjoying it thoroughly. Like, it was really a great show. Up until the end. And it was just like, why would y'all think to go that route? I kind of think when the actors and the directors and the writers and whoever is in the boardroom and they have the script and they give it out and everyone's going through it and they're like, this is really good, but let's fuck this up. Like, <laughs> let's really fuck this up because the people at home are going to love this. Like, y'all seen the end of clickbait? Like, how y'all feel about that? Why would the lady... The receptionist <laughs> be the person that started all this. By the way, shout out to Adrian Gagne. He did an amazing job. Even though he wasn't in the movie, I mean, in the show like that, the scenes that he were he was in were really good. Um, his sister, Pia, get her out of here. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to need a whole separate segment for this fucking show. But anyway, in the clickbait was trash. Garbage. It took a movie, I mean, it took a show that was from 8 out of 10 to a 3. Like, I'm really telling you, it went from an 8 to a 3, and that's bad. It's kind of like if you ever had good food, and you enjoying your food and enjoying your food, and it messes your stomach up, and now you don't ever want to get that food again, but it was so good, but you really just can't see yourself going that route again because it messed your stomach up. That's what clickbait did for me. Um, And did Pia have a wig on? We could talk about that. Like, I don't know if... P had a pig on. Um, P had a pig on. <laughs> I don't know if P had a wig on. Um, Caraman is telling me about shit in the back. I don't know. She's telling me to watch Tomorrow World. We watch Tomorrow World. We ain't watch shit. I don't know. You know Tomorrow War. 
Tomorrow War. Like, see? Horrible. It's not called Tomorrow World. That is a good one, too. That's another fucking movie that was trash and ruined by the end. I'm going to talk about that in a few, though. Um, but another uh, show that I recently just watched, Money Heist Part 1. Amazing. Regular. Money Heist does what Money Heist does. Um, keeps you on the edge of your seat. Absolute fire. The professor's back. Um, all of the people are back. Tokyo's back, even though I hate Tokyo and her character. Um, Berlin had... I'm not even going to spoil it. Actually, I'm not going to spoil it for y'all because I know some of y'all didn't watch it and it's part one. But Money Heist Part 1, they kept me on the edge of my seat. Um, really good. Like, I really don't have anything bad to say about Money Heist. Um, and a quick question. You guys watching in English or Spanish? I just want to know. I just want to know. Cameraman says that she watches it in Spanish. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna respect the culture. I'm gonna respect the culture. Como te llamas? Wepa. Like I speak man un poquito, you know, a little bit. Um. All right. A lot of stuff you watch is basura. We're not gonna get into that. But um, money heist. Absolutely. <laughs> money. Oh, this is, we live today. We live. I'm not editing nothing out. <laughs> I'm not editing nothing out. It's been a while, and I'm glad I'm back. But money heist part one fire and i'm not surprised money heist has always been good like i said they kept me on the edge of my seat um and i actually took the initiative to watch it in spanish this time i put the english subtitles on it's not too bad i can do both i'm flexible pause i I could do i'm in multiple realms i can do both and i'm saying pause don't be all extra in my comments and all of that because i'm saying pause i'm from harlem we say pause so don't I ain't no shade to anybody. Like, I love everybody. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. But Money Heist Part 1, check it out. Not going to spoil it for y'all. That was something else I just recently watched, and it was fire. Um, Jumping into another movie that was absolutely trash, and I'm actually upset because John David Washington is one of my favorite actors. Um, Beckett. Trash. Like, garbage. (laughs) That movie was so bad. Garbage. Like, I'm confused as to why John David Washington took this. I'm not even going to say that. They probably offered him a bag, a Netflix bag. Get your money, fam. Get your money, black man. I'm proud of you. He's definitely one of my favorite new actors. But it was stupid. It was weird. It didn't make sense to me, the concept. I see where they tried to go. I actually thought the movie would be about him um, getting into a car accident Losing his memory and his girlfriend dies and then they're blaming him. You know, going in that route. The route they took was left, right, up, down. Stupid. Like, I don't know what they were doing with that movie. Um, Yeah, yeah. Like, he was running the whole movie. He was doing a lot of, like, Will Smith, like, Hancock type shit. Like, his arm was broke the whole movie. He, he was, was fighting at, like, an Asian. Yeah, like... And it's like, bro, you was just It was. A it was... What, what, the, what y'all say now was given? It was given James Bond mixed with... Um, I'm just a regular... Tyler player. Perry mixed with fucking... I don't know. It was just weird. Um, I wish the movie would have been better because it was John David Washington. And like I said, when I first saw the, um, the little clip that Netflix shows, it looked good. I'm like, oh, I got to tune into this. I fell asleep three times. Every single time I fell asleep. So, actually, the positive about this movie, it might be the movie to put me to sleep at night. So, I'm going to tune in for that. Um, But check out Beckett. Let me know what you guys think about that. That was third on my list. Uh, Actually, fourth on my list. Um, Now, we're going to get into the good stuff. If you have HBO Max, which I always tell you guys is the best streaming platform out there. Sorry, I'm burping and belching. It's the wine. Red wine always does this to me. It's really good, but um, it don't matter if they hear me. Check out The White Lotus on HBO Max. Um, Jennifer Coolidge is in it, and she's absolutely hysterical. Like, this show, I seen it on the side of a bus. Like, I don't know, I was, like, walking in my neighborhood, and I seen it on the side of a bus. Honestly, anything HBO Max comes out with, and they advertise a lot, I check it out because they're just really good. Um, But check out The White Lotus. The White Lotus is hilarious. It's something I don't even want to spoil for you guys because it caught me off guard with every episode, but... Um, it's a well-crafted show. Well-crafted. Um, it's not, the, like the writing is really good. Um, it's not what you expect. Definitely not what you expect. It's a for comedy... 
literally from episode one i think it was like six episodes um good thing about hbo max if you watched it i'm not saying i mean if you watch it when it came out um you watch it week by week which is really good it leaves that um that anticipation effect but obviously it's over now so you can just watch it you can binge it Binging is not a thing for me, by the way. I only do it on Netflix because obviously they release everything at the whole time. I mean, they release everything all at once. I prefer week by week because that's how I learned how to watch shows, and it leaves me with anticipation every week. I mean, it gives me something to look forward to. Um, otherwise, I'm watching the shit straight through, and I'm thirsty. Pause. Like I'm fucking thirsty to watch the whole show. But um, yeah, White Lotus was absolutely fire. If you didn't watch White Lotus on HBO Max, check it out. Um, season one, I don't think they should even do another season because shows like that, it's like pointless to do a season two. The only way I think they would do a season two is if they do another group of, um, they do another family and they meet the family that was there last year. And then they all kind of like have like a thing. I don't want to spoil that for you. Cause like I said, that show was absolutely amazing. It was hilarious. Um, and it was unintentionally funny. I like shows that, un- I like shows that are unintentionally funny. Yeah, it felt like if you went on vacation with your family, like, shit, that really would happen. Um, And HBO does a great job with, like, the color palettes, the cinematography, like I mentioned before. The music was dope. Dope as shit. Like, they did a great soundtrack. (laughs) Um, It was a really cool show. stuff you don't really pay attention to? Yeah. Multiple shows. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like I said, check out White Lotus on HBO Max. It's still up there. Uh, I don't think it's going anywhere, but check it out. Um, speaking of the Emmys, like I spoke about earlier, this show has to win an Emmy next year. Like I would be disappointed if it didn't win an a Emmy for Best Comedy Series um, for 2021. Because we're in 2021, right? Yeah, 2021. Um, and then my last show a recommendation, of course, it's on HBO Max, Mayor of Easttown. Kate Winslet, and I'm, I be, might be butchering Kate Winslet, Kate Winslet, whatever her last name is, absolutely destroyed this show. Like... The acting that she does, and she doesn't even have a, an accent in real life, but she has an accent in the show. She absolutely bodied this role. Um, the show was fire from episode one to the last episode, to the point when the last episode went off, I was like, that's it? Like, I absolutely love Mayor of Easttown. I put my mom's on to it. She liked it, too. I don't think she finished it, but um, Kate Winslet did an amazing job in Mayor of Easttown. Absolutely fire ass show. Check it out. It's on HBO Max. Like her performance as mayor was sick. Um, it's gonna another show that's gonna have you on the edge of your seat from episode one to the end. And I like shows. Um. Oh, the Undoing. Yeah, that was another cool show that we watched. Um. So if you like the Undoing, you'll like this one. Exactly. Check that out as well. Um. But Mayor of Easttown was fire. Definitely check that out. Like I said. Um. Just the whole concept of the show and leave you on the edge of your seat. I like shows that make me guess and I don't want to know everything that's going on up until I find out. Or even if I figure it out, I still in the back of my mind think I'm wrong. With this show, I didn't know much about it, like coming into it, um, actually knowing where East Town was or if they made it up. I think it's an actual place in, I think, Pennsylvania. I could be wrong. Um, you got to look that up on your own. Well, yeah, check out Mayor of East Town with Kate Winslet. She has to, she's another one that has to win an award next year for that. I'd be disappointed if she didn't. I think somebody won. Um, oh, yeah, that came out in 2020. So somebody. somebody did win an award on the show. So uh, definitely check that out. Um, like I said, thanks for tuning in. This was a brief episode. It might have been brief. I don't even know the timestamp on it. But could have been brief. I just wanted to talk to you guys. It's good to be back. Uh, I'll be back for another episode soon. And thank you for tuning in.